Hello everyone, Fuzzfinger here, thank you for joining me, let's continue on with Final Fantasy XIII 2. So today we're going to Academia 500 AF, a place I hate, but we have to do it. It is 500 AF, and the crystal pillar that supports Cocoon is starting to crumble. The people of Academia have been evacuated to the new Cocoon. Now all that remains is to launch the Ark into the sky. It is the moment of reckoning. Destruction and rebirth hang in the balance. Two futures, two possibilities, and a battle to determine the fate of the world. So in this version of Academia, we are going to be solving a lot of puzzles. Well, I say a lot of puzzles, it's really one big puzzle. So follow the walkthrough through carefully and uh, we'll get through it together, I hope. And this is the last episode. So as you can already see, it's a lot different than any other version of Academia we've visited already. And there's a lot of moving blocks and that's what form the puzzles. Look, it's like it's turning into Valhalla. We're at the time of the prophecy. The pillar is going to crumble any moment, and then the old cocoon will fall. I don't see any of the people. Do you think they've already been evacuated? Yeah. Everyone must be in the Ark. Wait! I'll bet that's Caius's target. Exactly. This must be the moment that Hope launches his new cocoon. Right? <laughs> Now, the first thing I'll say is we have to do a lot of jumping here. We have to jump over a lot of gaps uh, in certain situations. So make sure that your uh, jump further ability, anti-gravity jump, is activated. Else you'll make this place ten times harder than it needs to be. So the main idea here is that we need to move platforms around uh, to reach our main goal, which is the north of the map. And there's various waypoints we need to reach on the way. So Chocolina's here and she has a slightly updated inventory with a couple of new weapons if they're going to be any good for you. You look way too serious. It's like you're about to head off to a final showdown with your nemesis or something. If that's the case, you should spend an absurd amount of gill at my shop. It might help you win. Come on, lighten up and pull that gill out of your wallet. So these two new weapons here are what you can get, although they're not really anything uh, decent for me since since I've collected some nice weapons already, so I'm not going to buy any. But uh, if you haven't got anything decent, then they'll certainly help you uh, at this point. Okay, so make sure you activate that green cactus that's just there. That will mean that if you die, or die, not die, sorry, if you fall, then uh, you'll return to that cactus. And there's a few of those scattered around that we'll be using uh, as we go on. So grab this treasure chest uh, and just uh, walk, run around those two uh, little corridor things to explore them. Going to activate this cactus now. And you can see there's two moving platforms uh, just up here, one on each side. So we have a little cutscene. If you follow the movements closely, you can see there's some sort of pattern. Down, we can get past them. Start by heading to the west. So make sure that the platform's in position before you try and run across, else you'll fall. Now we technically only have to explore about 50% of this whole area in order to complete the story objectives, but uh, I'm going to do all the extra exploration as well uh, on this visit because this is one of the areas, unfortunately, we need to reach 100% on for the fragment uh, side quest in Academia 400. You actually need to fully explore uh, Academia 4 double XAF and this version 500. So you need both on 100%. Now that makes this a lot trickier since we're going to have to go to areas and work out the puzzles to get there that we wouldn't have normally had to. Which is frustrating, but hey, let's do it. So just keep following my path basically. Um, 
there's probably going to be quite a few edits in this video. So if you see it blur for a few seconds, that's just an edit. And the reason for that is basically some a lot of the time I'm having to pause or get my bearings or I make a mistake and come back. And I just don't want to fill the video with all that crap. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit easier for you. And uh, yeah, I fell. So as you can see when you fall you do uh, get put back to the cactus that you uh, that you last activated and I'm just going to go to the other side actually to grab this treasure chest and to do a little bit of exploring as well that's the map very useful we can now see everything we need to explore so carry on going east this isn't an, uh, essential, but it does just give us that little bit more exploration to save returning later. Now, some of the enemy encounters here can be quite tough. And I do recommend you have a, a Delta Attack Paradigm or some Paradigm with a Sentinel uh, in your pack. Uh, and probably a Paradigm with a, a couple of Medics as well. So, Especially later on, the Monster Packs do get quite frustratingly difficult. Even if you've... Uh, Leveled up your party quite a lot as I have, it still is tough. I'm going to jump down here, uh, just to explore, grab this treasure chest. And it's okay because in a minute we can just jump off and it'll put us straight back up at that cactus that we last activated. So it doesn't matter that we're going out of the way at the minute, we won't have to actually find our way back. And now we can just... Just check actually first. Okay, so we've explored a little bit more, which is useful. Now I'm just going to leap off the edge. And that will put us right back up here, which is where we need to be. And now we can carry on going north. Remember to jump over those gaps. And we'll just wait for this to turn and then head to the east. Again, I do apologise that there's a lot of edits in this video. Hopefully you'll still see uh, where I go exactly. Trust me, if I didn't edit uh, most of the edits that I've done, then it would just be so confusing because I'm going backwards and forwards trying to find the correct way and stuff. So hopefully I've got it all correct here. Anyway, just head all the way east to the waypoint and you'll get a cutscene followed by a boss encounter. something about not killing the goddess, right? What did she mean? I screw up just a little bit on this encounter. Uh, there's two enemies that you have to kill and the general idea is they have to die about the same time. If uh, you kill one and it stays dead for too long then its friend or its companion will actually resurrect it back to full health so the idea what you want to do is uh, deplete the health of one so it's quite low and probably staggered and then kill the next one and then basically go back and finish the, the first one off again but try not to lose its, uh, its stagger chain bonus it doesn't resurrect it straight away you do have about 20 seconds but uh, I actually forgot when I started this fight and ended up mix, uh, screwing it up, so... But, uh, anyway, you can basically go into Relentless Assault, get the chain bonus up uh, for the one you're killing, and then when you want to finish it off, or when you're ready to finish it off, if it's got a high chain bonus, you can just go into uh, Cerberus Paradigm, which is three commandos, and that's probably the best thing to do. Now, unfortunately, I didn't even start this enemy before I killed the first one, so I do end up uh, having it rejoin the fight. That's the ability that does it, split. Now, 
there's not really much I can do about it at this stage. It's coming and then I can't really stop that. But as you can see, it did take about 25 to 30 seconds after it first died to uh, be resurrected. So that's about the amount of time you have to kill them both. So the first one's, or the second one I should say, is on quite a bit of low health now. So I'm just going to move over back over to this first one. Yeah, so I know this is a bit messy the way I've done it, but hopefully you can understand the tactics and uh, finish it off a little bit cleaner than I've done. And if you need to, just switch to uh, a paradigm with a healer or just throw a couple of potions to keep your health up. Some of the abilities they do are quite nasty, so don't let your health drop too low. And there we have it. And I think I've still got a five-star rating for this fight, even though I did cock it up. And after the little uh, little cinematic that's coming up, you'll get a fragment and some CP. I can't hear you anymore. What about you, Noel? Nothing. Not anymore. I wonder if it was Caius's doing. A trick to slow us down. Look! <laughs> Blocks have changed position. Bubble. Looks like we can cross. Looks like. Bubble. Okay, so those blocks that were just introduced to us, they confuse things up just a little bit more uh, because they change the way that some of the other blocks, the big blocks, move. And you do have to engage with a few of them in order to reach the end. So thank you Square for making a really irritating area even more irritating. Anyway, turn that block so it's blue. And we're just going to just do a little bit of extra exploring to work towards that 100% exploration for the map. Just checking out here what we need to do. Some of it I'm going to leave until afterwards as well, so uh, that's probably the easiest way to do it. So don't worry too much that we haven't done some of that map on the right hand side. So jump onto these steps. And then you can just fall off here and that will put us back at the last cactus which is just back here again where the block was that we changed to blue. And now we're going to carry on so we want to head to the west. This is actually where we need to be going now. Okay so that was definitely uh, deserved since I didn't want to be patient and wait. So I'll try that again. Sometimes when you do reach one of the moving blocks, if you are not sure if it's recently moved or not, then you might just want to wait for it to complete its cycle, just so you don't do what I did then and fall. Now, when this block's in place, move on it and start heading south. Jump over onto these steps. And you can activate this cactus if you want to, and I recommend that you do in case you fall. Which you may very well do. You do tend to fall quite a bit around here. The gaps do tend to catch you off guard. Uh, continue heading south and then you'll see another block. You want to turn that pink, so examine it. And that'll just shuffle things around a little bit. And then you can head back north again. Past your, past your cactus. just carry on up these steps and we're going to have to wait for the next moving block
Okay, now you just want to go all the way across to the unexplored area over here. And before we jump back on it, we're just going to go back, uh, go down here, these steps here to grab this treasure chest. Again, this is a completely optional path here. But it's very useful if we do it now, so we don't have to backtrack later on. And jump back on this moving platform once it's facing the opposite direction. So we don't want to come back from where we just came from. So I'm just going to wait for it here. Okay, and that will take us up north to some more uh, un unexplored area. I couldn't speak this. Uh, and then you just want to go east, which is the only direction you can go at the moment. And you'll see another waypoint. That's where you're heading to. There's no cutscene to take place. It's just sort of like a guideline of where you want to be going. And when you reach here, you want to activate the green cactus, or cactua, or whatever it is they're called in Final Bloody Fantasy. And we'll just go over here, since we need to explore this little bit. Oh, come on. Oh, that was typical, wasn't it? Now the good thing is we'll be able to just jump down again in a minute. Since we've just activated that cactus, I'm going to do that now. And that will put us straight back where we need to be once again. And we want to jump onto this T platform. Careful, careful, server. Let's not be so hasty. Let's wait for it to return. Okay, let's try that again. A bit more cautious this time. And this is just going to move us round. There's a treasure chest over there, but we're going to come back to it. So don't bother jumping over just yet. We will get it very soon, do not worry. Instead, wait until you can jump off to the west. And activate this uh, cube. Again, that's going to change a few things around for us. So now we'll wait for this platform and we'll go and get that treasure chest. One of the side effects of activating that last cube is that this platform uh, now rotates only in 180 degrees, rather than 90. Okay, so grab the chest, which I believe is a gate seal. Yes. And we are getting ever so closer to that destination. Sorry for that edit. I did fall off and mess around. I have to come all the way back. Uh, anyway, you want to, on this platform that we're on, just wait for these stairs. You have to be a little bit patient. They're not exactly fast moving. And they do, uh, do turn around four times. So, just have to wait for them to reach your position. So, this is part of the frustrating atmosphere, I think, for this area, is having to wait for the platforms. Okay, and when they come around, you can use them to head east. Onto this next unexplored platform over here. Activate the cactus. And then you just want to head onto this platform to the north, which will lead west. This one doesn't move, but then you do jump onto this moving T platform when it's in position. And this will take us round to the other side. Hup. 
And now we need to wait for the next platform. You can get a preemptive strike on those, by the way, and I would advise to if you can, since they are quite nasty. But because of them, I've missed that bloody platform, so I've got to wait for it again now. This is why I want to get the 100% exploration on the first visit, because uh, I really don't want to have to come back here later having to mess around. Just want to get it all done and over with in one, one playthrough if we can. So you can see the waypoint that we're heading to. It's not too far away. We're not going to come off here yet. Although we will be coming back here, so don't worry. Okay, and... This platform doesn't move at the moment, but it will be soon. So just follow it all the way around onto this next platform and where the waypoint is. Now when you reach over here, the first thing you're going to definitely want to do is grab this cactus. Since we're going to do a little bit of optional exploring now. And then we're going to jump at the end to return here, which is where we need to be really. So jump onto these steps. It's a big jump, but you can make it. Again, you can use the cactus us to return uh, to that position if you fall so don't worry about it then from here you're going to want to jump down and it is a very tight jump so try and aim it and time it right as you can see it really is a close jump and the reason why we're doing this now is because we've got some of the blocks that we've hit the blue and pink blocks so we've got them in the correct position to uh, explore this little bit of unexplored area over on the eastern side. So keep heading to the east. And by the way, you might want to set your enemy encounter rate to less enemies if you have the fragment skill to do so. Uh, Battle Mania, I think it's called. Since this place is annoying enough without uh, all the random encounters that pop up. So just head all the way down to the end here and you'll want to go across this platform. I hope this isn't going to move. That was that was close. <laughs> so and then we can explore this little bit down here for the first time. And once you've explored down here, you'll want to start heading back this way. And, in fact, you can just fall, can't we? Because that will take us back to the cactus. Which is good. That's what we want. Now activate this block. Make sure you don't activate it until now, though, once we've explored that little eastern part. And we want to head back onto this platform here but be careful since it does like to move and we're going to do a long jump here this is again optional but there's a treasure chest and a little platform down here we need to explore which is a little bit hidden but there it is so grab that chest and go back to the cactus by, by falling Like I say, I'll just check my map, check my map quite a bit, just to get my bearings and whatnot. So back here, we want to head to the east. So when the platform's in this position, it does move, of course. So be careful. Now you want to head onto this little square block here. This is like a save point between the moving platforms so that you don't fall. And you want to wait for this T section to come around. We just wait for it to come round. As I said, this is what really makes this place a little bit annoying. These platforms don't exactly rush themselves, do they? <laughs> uh, 
And just be careful when you jump on that one because it goes past the block you're standing on, so I almost missed it then actually. Now before we actually carry on uh, and go north here, I do want us to do a little bit of backtracking to explore some more stuff we haven't yet explored. So don't jump, jump off there, there. instead wait, wait for the platform, platform to come around to the next exit and wait again and then you want to jump down onto this platform below. So you do want to turn this cube here, uh, sorry activate it and turn it blue. And when things are shuffled around you want to jump onto this T platform just to the east of this uh, platform that we're on. So again we're going to just have to wait for it. And you can see that unexplored circle platform to the eastern side of the map, that's where we're heading to. So I know it's a little bit out of the way but as I keep saying I do want to get the exploration done because this place can be a nightmare if you want to come back later and do it. So best to get it all done now. And just run over to the other side and wait for these steps to turn. Oh dear. Any time today would be nice. There we go. Okay, so up, mind the gap. Uh, up and over, as they say. And now you want to head uh, over up north. But not until you've activated the cube, in fact. I forgot about that. That will get things moving in the right direction, eventually. And we're going to have to do another long jump, as we did on the other side, to reach this platform. Down we go. Parachute would be handy, but we'll make do without. And there's a treasure chest here for us to grab. How nice. You probably understand now, don't you, why I told you to make sure to have the anti-gravity jump before you uh, try this place. It would be a nightmare without it. Maybe it would be possible to do, but it would be a real pain in the backside. Okay, so there's nothing else to do on this little platform, so when you're feeling brave, you can jump off. And this will put us back exactly where we want to be. Well... Not exactly where we want to be. I mean, that'll probably be the pub for me right now, but... Uh, exactly where we should be, I should say. And we'll just wait for this platform to move on around. There it goes. And you want to go back onto that uh, block. We're going to be heading north now. Now we've done our little detours. So, I might... Yep, yeah, that's it. Thought I'd take the risk and it paid off. And you've probably guessed you want to now start heading west. Doesn't look like there's much else places you can go from here, does it? careful of the gaps on the way and wait for this platform you want it to be facing the other direction than how it's facing now so you can carry on going north and you'll come to some steps which you'll want to of course head up up to this unexplored area over here and by the way you can start encountering the behemoths now and I would highly recommend you run away from them because they will hurt you so make sure you flee from them I mean you can try and kill them if you want to but when they stand up on their hind legs they just dish out so much damage it's unbelievable even for a high level party last we reach our destination yes No, we must not fight Caius. No, do you hear 
that? Your path leads only to evil and despair. It's not too late. You can still turn back. You! What do you mean? What's going to happen? A cruel fate, endlessly repeated with no hope of release. I cannot see any future. You're wrong, Yule. I believe in hope. But what if hope does not exist? I can't turn back now. Not anymore. In my world, you no longer exist. A world without you is no world at all. I do not have the power to stop you. The choice must be yours, and yours alone. Even if the future you choose is doomed. We could technically go to the very end of the game from here, but we've still got fragments to collect and other things to do, so that's going to take priority at the moment. Grab the uh, treasure chest and then activate the cactus, the green one. And we still need to get 100% exploration, so we need to be careful here. We need to explore this northern part, but if you reach the waypoint, then you will actually start the final boss encounters of the game, so you don't want to do that just yet but you do have to get very close to it so you might want to save your game just before you reach it and if you do activate the uh, end game then you can just restart but there it goes that's all you need to do we were literally inches inches away from the end of the game then that's as close as we're going to get for a while though I'm afraid since as I just mentioned there is still a few fragments we need to collect Now you might have seen a red cactus on that platform, I haven't ignored it, we will be going back to it. What it does is teleport you back to the start of this whole area. And don't fret too much because when you're ready there's another one at the start of the area which will teleport you back to that platform as well. Although it's only just appeared so don't think we could have used it at the start, we couldn't. Okay so there's another platform you can just see uh, a little bit further down that we want to reach to explore. And we're almost done with this area, I promise. So we're just going to have to wait for this moving platform here to uh, reach us. And use it to go all the way across. These steps don't move at the moment, so don't worry about them. And here's the next unexplored area. And there is literally just a little bit down at the bottom now that we need to do, and we are sorted. So to do that, we're going to go back to the start of the whole area. And to do that, we need to use that red cactus. So we need to jump off this area. You don't actually need to use that cube there. I was just messing around, to be honest. Okay, and now you want to use the red cactus, the big one behind. your decision then I won't stop you. I'm behind you all the way. It's your call. Okay, so you can see the next red cactus is just to the just to our left. And that will take us straight back to the end area. So when we're ready to go for the final bosses, uh, we can use that. Now we just need to finish off exploring this eastern side of the map and we are finishing Academia then at last. So use these eastern platforms to head on over. 
and I think we'll have to just wait for this one since it did just change and we'd have fallen if we hadn't now the one small platform up ahead is a little bit of a pain to reach so we'll have to do a little bit more backtracking to actually reach that So when this is in position, just use it to move on around. And there's another treasure chest over here that you might want to grab. Carry on up the steps and at the top there will be another green cactus. You will need to activate it in order to reach the last platform. And the last part we need to explore now is just to the west. But you, we can't reach it yet because it needs to move across. So we need to backtrack now. You have to activate that green, uh, green cactus before you do any backtracking. Then go back to the start. I know it's a bit of a mission, but uh, <laughs> we really are nearly done now, I promise. <laughs> and we need to use the cube that's just back here. The platform we just climbed off uh, will actually be inaccessible now which is why we can't get back to that green cactus without falling but we need to get back there because the platform we couldn't reach we now can reach. That's why we had to do that little bit of backtracking. I know it's confusing but as long as you uh, are following what I'm doing then uh, you'll be fine. So we're back here and we can now explore this final little bit of area and we're on 100%. Yes, we are done. Well, we're almost done. We don't really want to return to the Historia Crux while we're in the middle of this area. Because when we want to do the bosses later, we're going to have to find our way back. So let's just get there now so it's done and dusted. You can jump onto that platform below that I just jumped up onto. Uh, you don't actually need to come up these steps, sorry about that. Uh, you do want to use this uh, s this cube, I was going to say sphere then, this cube. And now you can jump down, which will put you back up at the cactus we was on. And for the last time we just want to walk back down to the beginning. Just use the moving platforms carefully again. So I think we'll just go back and use the red cactus to take us to the end and then we can return to the Historia Crux. So when we do want to do the last boss of the game, or the last bosses, we are uh, won't have to do any backtracking here at all. We can literally go straight there. I know this video hasn't been totally exciting, I do apologise folks, but uh, this area will be done with in just a moment and we can get on back on with more fun stuff. So, Once you're back at the start, use the red cactus then. Obviously this will teleport us straight to the end. And you might want to just... Uh, activate the green cactus stone, the cactuar stone, sorry. Just in case you do have an accident when you go to the last boss and you fall. And that is it now, we can finally leave this place. Thank goodness. Okay, so next video we're going to be handing in all our maps since we should have explored everything by now, but I will go through them next video. Uh, this has been Fuzzfinger, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.